put it to 16 mil. Um, hey guys, hope you're all good. Uh, yesterday I uploaded a video, uh, 200 mil panning photography in the city. I'll link it below if you want to go and check it out. Um, but it made me think about how you can fake a photo in Photoshop. So you can fake panning shots in Photoshop and I'm going to show you how you can do that now. It's, it's really simple, like it doesn't take very long at all. Uh, the photo on the screen I took back in 2018, maybe 19, 18, 19, not sure. Um, but you can see it's a complete static shot, there's even dudes stood next to it. The car's not even moving. So we're going to make it look like it's moving, making a panning shot here in Photoshop. So I'm going to throw on a screen recording so you can see what I'm looking at. Okay, so you can see that I have my layer here, it's the car on its own, nothing's going on yet. First thing you want to do is press Command J or potentially Alt J on Windows, uh, but you just want to copy the layer basically. So now we've got the exact same layer, um, we're going to click on the top layer there, layer zero. Uh, we can just rename that to, do, 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 do. rename that to uh, motion because that's what we're going to create as the motion and then we're going to go up to the top where it says filter going to go down to where it says uh, blur and then go down within the blur section to motion blur um, we're going to put it to the angle so you want to make sure the angle is the right angle as in like it's the same angle as the uh, the object that you're shooting um, this is about two degree angle is fine um, if we bring that down, the distance, all the way down to 1, you can see that the motion is, is, well, there's no motion. And then if we go to like 140, it's a bit more. We want to make it quite dramatic, so we're going to bring it all the way up to about there. That looks, that looks quite dramatic. So we'll press OK and done. So now what we want to do is we want to mask that top layer onto the bottom one. So you want to go down to the bottom here, where the mask layer is, add layer mask, click that. And you want to make sure the brush is selected and you are on the uh, black color. So now if I start if I start drawing you'll see that it, uh, it gets rid of the, the top mask. So what we want to do is we want to drop that uh, the top mask down the opacity. We want to reduce that a little bit. So if we reduce that we can see the outline of the car. So if we're going to increase the brush size and we're just literally going to quickly go around the car like so. Okay, that's the mask done, nice and simple. Now what we want to do is we want to increase the opacity back to 100%. And then you can see in the window area here, if we leave it like that, it's a bit obvious that we've added this in. So what we want to do is make sure that the motion blur remains in the window in the background like that. There you go. We'll add that in and anywhere that you've added like you've uh, you've masked a bit too much you just want to go around and just touch up just to make sure that it looks realistic um, another way if you want to see exactly what you've masked you could just press the uh, slash tool and you can see it all highlighted there so I want to just go over that and make sure that everything is in the correct space make sure that the whole of the car is red let's just do that nice and easy there we go and turn that off and we're pretty much done like there's a couple of things you could do extra to make it pop a little bit more but i'm fairly happy with that now what you can do to make it pop is you command j uh, so copy that layer again so command j which will then double up what you've already done but you want to press uh, the blending mode to screen so over here you've got normal but blend that down to screen which is going to lighten up the image then you're going to go to the top left hand side to image and then you're going to go to uh, apply image and then press OK. And then you're going to go to filter and then go to blur again and go to Gaussian blur like that and press OK. And if we toggle that on and off, you'll see that it's just added that little bit of extra pop. You could say it's a little bit too much, so you could just drop the opacity down on that a little bit. Um, and then the same with the motion blur if you wanted to if you you know if you didn't want to Have it too much. You could have reduced it a little bit, but that's Five minutes done nice and simple and easy from this to this in Five minutes or less 
So I wanted to share that with you because when I first started uh, doing photography and using Photoshop and Lightroom, I found that really useful. That's not straight, is it? I found that really useful. So I wanted to share that with you because I thought you might find it useful and you can create something very creative from something very bland. You know, that shot was pretty much quite bland and I didn't really like the shot in the first place, but when you added that motion blur, it created it into something. And I, I thought it looked really cool. Let me know in the comments. You might think it looked crap, but the, uh, the solution itself is there and you can use it however you like. So I wanna see what you guys can create. So go and try this and then tag me in the hashtag optical wonder over on Instagram and uh, we'll have a look at it. We'll have a look at on here. Okay, we're gonna do a little refresh on the recents. Oh, that first one is insane. Dan Russell, dude, wow. Really like that, love the set as well. <laughs> and that was posted, that was like so perfect. Like as it was posted, it, it came up. This is a really cool shot. This is in Nashville, Tennessee. What? This is cool. Oh my God, I wish we had that much snow here. Like, can you imagine how sick London would look if there was that much snow? Wow. Okay, uh, <laughs> moving down. Let's go with, this reflection shot's really cool. I like that a lot, especially if I turn it upside down. Wow, that's really like abstract, I like that. Um, and we'll go, there's a whole bunch of shots here of like firefighters and stuff. Let's go with this one, that's really cool. This is from Ryan Visuals. Um, and we'll go down a little bit more, keep going. Um, let's go with, da -da 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 -da. Oh, there's so many good ones. So many good shots. We'll go with, oh God. I want one to just like, like Dan's did like, oh, that's cool. Whoa, that's from Daniel McPherson. Yes, dude, that's really sick. Um, and then we'll do, let's do like three or four more. That's cool with like the light painting. Love that, love the light painting behind the, I've never done that with like a model. I've never done like light painting behind a model, but yeah, great shot. Uh, this is sick, yes, wow. This place to shoot is insane. It's uh, the Berkeley here in London. Um, so if you ever wanna shoot a supercar, I highly recommend it. Um, another panning, well, not panning shot, another um, spinny shot, that's really sick. Wow, that's so hectic. Wow, love that. Um, let's do that vibe, love that vibe, love the mist. I really want like an, like a, a misty morning in London, like proper mist, like really deep, thick mist, light, oh, just, yeah, I'm waiting for it, waiting for it. Um, let's do, 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 I really like this vibe, I like the edit on this. And it's quite a simple shot, and I think sometimes simple shots are the best. And I just, I don't know, I just really love the colors, really love the simplicity of it, great shot. Um, we'll do one more. Let's do one more. We'll do a scroll. We'll go from here. We'll pick one on the screen. Let's go with that. Bam. Yes. What a shot. Love that. Love the set. Really nice. Love the tram as well. The old fashioned tram. Oh, looks so sick. If you do want to get featured on this page, use channel page, use hashtag optical wonder over on Instagram. Um, and and I'll, I'll, I'll go through it. I tend to go through it after every single video. At the moment, I am doing a video a day. Uh, tomorrow morning, I'm heading out with Sebastian, um, who I will, uh, I'll, I'll talk about tomorrow. But we're heading out and we're gonna do a, uh, a whole walk from Canary Wharf all the way to Chelsea. So if you're from London, you know that's like a two, three hour walk and we're gonna stop off in Central as well. Um, yeah, I've put it up on my stories over on Instagram. Um, you guys would have seen it. So yeah, um, subscribe, notification bell, all that stuff. Create more, stress less. And of course, go and, go and try this out. I want to see what you guys create. Have fun and I'll, um, I'll see you tomorrow. Ah. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Ah, no. Ah. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't attack me on my shoulder. Ah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look. Ra 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 ra.